All right, we're we're here at DreamHack Master Small Mall, and I'm I'm here with one of the builders of the arena. Um, how's the hard things going? Pretty good. Yeah. How are the how's the building going? Uh, I have no fucking idea. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Dupree from Astralis, first game behind you. Uh, what did you expect from CS:GO Launch? We haven't seen them play for for quite a while, and uh, you haven't played with, but against, against them for quite a while. So, what did you expect to, from them going into the match and like looking at the group overall? Um, obviously, we were pretty confident we were going to win. Um, I didn't see them as uh, I see them as the weakest team in our group, and um, I'd say. Yeah, as you said, we haven't seen them play in a long time, and we personally haven't played them in a long time. Um, I know they have a couple of good players, um, but I just felt pretty confident through the entire thing. And, um, yeah, well, that's about what I can say, I suppose. Yeah, just the boss passing by. Yeah, no worries. All right, um, looking at the rest of the group, you're, you're going to face off against uh, NIP and Dignitas. Uh, Dignitas, you're kind of domestic rivals, and you've played against them a, a couple of times before, I think, Leipzig. Yeah, Leip you played against the, them at Leipzig. That, it was kind of close on overpass. Uh, what, what do you think about your 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 Danish guys? Um, I think they're, I wouldn't say they're in a slump right now, but I'd say they're pretty disappointed with the results lately, especially they didn't qualify for the Major. Um, they decided to go to Copenhagen games instead and actually didn't win that either, so I think they're having some sort of, as I said, like, a lot of slump, but they're having some problems uh, with their game and that's pretty common for teams like that. Uh, everyone has them obviously, but some has harder than others. Um, I still think Dings is a great team and I'm pretty sure that they can beat and upset uh, NMP, which I would say NMP is the favorite here. Um, but yeah, I think Dink just can probably win as well. Um, NLP has been showing, and they played the Major without Pith, so it's kind of hard to say how they play, but in, I, I can tell from practice that they, they're playing, playing super straight and playing with a lot of uh, lot of good confidence, and overall they've just improved the game play so much. So I'm looking very much forward to seeing them as a full lineup for now. Um, I think they can definitely go really far in this tournament, and I am pretty sure that we're going to go up against them in the winner's final. Okay, we kind of talked about backstage about like how you've uh, you've changed up a few things. Uh, uh, <coughs> I know you obviously didn't have too much time to uh, to improve in between uh, Columbus and here because you only had a couple of days. So what did you ma uh, did you manage to to change despite that that time constraint? Uh, without revealing too much, it is mainly put to the part that. We have tried to mix up the players a little bit um, in the way that people play, um, playstyle-wise. So instead of having two people with two different playstyles together, you're going to have the same people playing with the same playstyle play together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to see how that takes us and how far we're going to go with it. Um, I'd say in practice it's been going pretty well, even though we only played two or three times. Um, we won this game with some mistakes, but I wouldn't say that was main that was not really because of the new setups, but it was more, more mainly just... Um, a few mistakes here and there, like getting the first game in a tournament, blah blah blah, and yeah, stuff like that. But I'm confident it's going to go pretty well. Um, you always, you always play really well in the, in the groups, and kind of, uh, I don't want to say choke. I'm just like it's 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 been there for too long. But yeah, it's uh, um, when it goes further, and when you meet uh, better teams, you always have kind of a problem with. Uh, I think you haven't beaten top ten team in, in a pretty long time, or at least uh, except yeah, except except uh, MLG obviously, uh, and that was a big upset obviously. But then you feel. Uh, you lost in the semi-final uh, in a fairly close matter, at least. Um, what are you looking to? What are you looking to to stand here at this uh, at this event? Considering Navi's here with a uh, with a replacement, Starix is playing with them, and VS is obviously in a slum. Virtus Pro is kind of kind of rough, even though they they showed showed pretty well at the majors. So what do you what do you expect from the team right now at this at this event? I'd say that the clear favorite here is um, obviously Lum Velocity, since they won the major and they're playing pretty well right now. For Navi, I'd say they can definitely, I would say they're still going to go into the top four because even though Guardian is a really big solid pillar in their team play and how they play, I'd still say that they have four other players that's super good and Sari is not a bad player either. So, And since he's the in-game leader, kind of he knows what everything is going like, It's not like you just take some random in from the street. He it's just like the same as Threat, right? <clears throat> Pretty much, yeah. Um, whereas I just think Starx is a better player because he has played a little bit more and probably has followed the team a lot more than, than Threat has. Um, but I still think that they're going to go into the semifinals definitely. Um, I think we might be uh, like the third, somewhere between the third team to get the favorite spot here. Um, so we also should get into semifinals usually, and then we just have to, yeah, play out of our minds.
So do you think this is the chance to to kind of break the curse again? Because you've, you've kind of broken the curse like a year ago in Romania, I believe, at CCS Kickoff Finals, and this is kind of the kind of a very similar rundown of results in the last in the last couple of months. So do you think this is the chance for you to to maybe take it to the next step again? Um, kind of both, yes and no. Um, as, as I've said in the interview that I did with uh, DreamHack after the game, I'd say that it would be obviously winning now would be nice, but I would much rather actually be at an event where both Fnatic is here and with we'll like the full lineup and also Navi having Guardian with them because then you beat the actual team and not a team that is missing one leg basically. Um, so yeah, obviously winning will be great and I'm gonna be freaking happy if I do, but I would still prefer to have the other team too just because I want the competition to be as good as possible. So what are you what are you looking to to maybe accomplish in the next couple of months considering you've been uh, at pretty much the same level for quite a while now? So what do you what is what's the realistic goal in the in the long term maybe? Well, obviously the goal is still to be the best team in the world. That is, has always been a goal, it's still going to be it um, until we achieve it at some point hopefully. Um, I'd say well, obviously winning a major. That is that is the key thing. Winning Cologne, that is the key. That is the only thing that matters, I guess. Um, obviously, winning this kind of tournament would be nice as well. But winning the major, that is the goal, and has always been the goal, and it's gonna stay like that until we win one. All right. So that's pretty much it. Do you have any last words, shoutouts? Uh, a big thanks to all of our supporters, all of my personal supporters, and for my helmet. Everyone's working with me. It's really great. I love it. And uh, I'll show you what I've accomplished tomorrow. No, right. not tomorrow. That's no. I'm sorry. I don't even know my own schedule. That's on Friday, right? On Friday. No, that we're off on Friday. I don't even know that. It's on Saturday. I think you're playing tomorrow, though. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna be playing in there. Hopefully, on Saturday. Hopefully. All right. So stay, <laughs> stay tuned to HLTV.org uh, as we're gonna bring more interviews. And this is Bob the Builder signing off.